gonna be funny. All right, today we're in Jason's shop. Well, we're in Jason's shop quite a bit because yeah. Jason's got a big plan to put together and uh, we're sort of going through different steps for you uh, to see what he's doing and how he's putting it all together and give you some ideas and tips uh, along the way. Yeah. So today's idea and tips are gonna be? Are gonna be opening up the control surfaces. So um, building the 91 inch Extreme Flight Yak. And uh, one thing a lot of people will do is they'll just limit the servo to the travel till it hits the opening. The problem with doing that is you have to move, then you have to move your con, uh, contact point out to get an, all the travel out of the elevator itself. So if I were to just limit the servo to travel to the opening, if you flip it over here, you'll notice we're not making it all the way to the bevel. We're not getting yeah. full travel. Uh, some people will say you don't need that much throw, but it's it's fun. So we're gonna we're gonna go there. Uh, Plus, <laughs> so, you don't get the full resolution. Well, of the server, and that yeah, that's where I was going. So if yeah, you move sorry. if you move it out and just use a longer arm or a shorter arm on this side, what you're doing is you're taking a servo that's designed to move 60 degrees and you're lowering it to 40, and you still have the same amount of steps. Doing so there, you're, yeah. yeah, so you're gonna have less less resolution. The the surfaces start looking like they're ratcheting on the older servos back when we were 1024. Now that we're the higher resolution, you don't see it as yeah. much, but you just lose uh, the, the finesse of the servo, we'll say. So I wanted to go over opening it up. So with this one, we ended up, I think we're running a two inch arm. So we ended up at one and three quarter and we should get the full travel we want out of it without having to move out any further. So it's really easy. Actually, you just take, uh, I took my iron and I went over the covering here. Uh, then all you have to do is you take a little bit of blue tape. We'll just do the, the outside edge first. And you put the blue tape right on where you're going to be sanding. Uh, and as with anything, take your time. I like to make it square so I know what I'm lining up to. Um, you don't want to just go in there and, and jam a bunch. So, so what we do is we take our, we got our quarter inch sanding drum Slowing. for the, for the Dremel. We're going to use low RPM and we're just going to take it here and we're just going to open this up just a little bit. And by putting the tape on, we make it so that we're not going to tear the covering when the sanding drum catches it. So you can see I'm just, I'm just using light touch. A little bit at a time and I'm just going to make a nice round. You don't want to go sideways too much and open it up because then it'll look funny. So there we go. And then we can, we can just shut off. We can check. So it's just as a little we go. bit. Just a little bit at a time. I mean, it's not going to take a whole lot. So we're almost, we're touching there. We're, we're close to yeah, max yeah. out here. So I'm going to go just a little bit more. And again, low RPM takes less material off and allows you to kind of have a little more finesse on it. And just kind of use, I like to like brace myself well so it doesn't get away from me. There we go. And we're just, we're just rounding it out really is all we're doing. And we're gonna go until it touches there. It's touching. We're getting, we're getting close. I mean, yeah. that's, that's really close. So we'll take it out a little bit more. Uh, another thing you can do that, um, so I'll do a little, little bit of light between here and there. Yeah, a little bit. A little so bit, it's not yeah. hitting. And then one other thing I'll do sometimes if I'm not sure, and I, I don't want to take too much. I'll mark it with a Sharpie, like every eighth of an inch, just so I can go a little bit, check it, go check to the next it, yeah. line, check it. But, uh, as long as you're taking your time and checking, it's not a big deal. So now why do you use slower speed instead of a faster Just so, when you go faster, well, and when you go faster, it's going to take a whole lot. And you, you're meaning to be real gentle, but we all twitch a little bit. And you don't want to just gouge a whole yeah, bunch yeah, out or, yeah. or shoot sideways because it'll grab as it rounds this out and start bouncing around in there. So by using the lower RPM and being a little more uh, intentional about it, you notice it's not jumping around a lot and it's not taking too much material off at a time. Better to take your time and have something you're you're happy with than to rush it, yeah. go high speed, and then destroy some. Precision. So, and we're, we're almost touching there. So actually we're, I don't think we want to go a whole lot further than that. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> so we'll go, we'll go one more touch on this, and then we're going to call this one good. And you can angle it a little bit like this because that arm is going to be at an angle when it's over here. Yeah. So now we've, we were a little outside, so we've taken about three sixteenths of an inch out here. And now we get all the way. That's where we want to be. I don't want to go much further than that because we're going to be hitting there. We're pulling more than, yeah. you know, because it's 
to where it's at. But yeah, at a certain so, point, you're just pulling it. Exactly. So it's too much. Hinges. It's too much. So yeah. So we're we're about where we want to be there. I, I don't want to go so far that this actually touches the the, yeah, let's get, the let's, surface. Let's get close, yep. set that down. Go let's ahead. get a close up shot of this so that they can yeah. see how that goes straight yeah, across. You don't want to go past that. Yeah, point. you don't want to go too much further than that because then you're just pulling the the horn out. So yeah, you want to want this to the symmetry to be exactly. Across there. And then once we got once we got it where we want it, you can see we'll go ahead and pull our tape off. And you can see it made a nice clean. Looks like a factory cut there. You know, it doesn't yeah, any, doesn't any tear up all the and tape is great for that. Anytime you're drilling or cutting, you want to use tape to keep the covering from getting peeled up. So, so yeah, so that's just a, a quick tip on you know opening these things up. We'll go over servo geometry and, and the best way to 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 set things up, but that's uh, that's where we're at right now. Well, there you go. Yeah. All right, so that's a quick little tip there. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, you know, help us out here, and mm -hmm. plus you get notifications, and you'll be able to know right away when we're doing something and when something is coming out, and you'll be the first one to look at yep. it. And also, be sure to uh, make comments, guys. If you're yes. watching a video and you see something and, and it sparks something in you, like, hey, I've always wondered how someone else does this, and you know, we don't know everything, but we'll we'll do some research and go check it out and, and give you the things that work for us and, and things that haven't worked for us and yes. why. Absolutely, comments so, are yep. important, and uh, we'd love to hear from you guys. Don't be afraid to say something down at the bottom. Yep. Even if it's, you know, about my ugly face, that's fine, too. It is pretty ugly. Yeah. But so. I might have said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Back soon.